Okay. Yeah, boy. Well, I believed that the Mandela effect. You and me are in a parallel universe. We have traveled physically. We traveled hundreds of millions of light years away from the original Earth that we knew. And you traveled, I believe, through the quantum physics realm, which is inner. Because we didn't travel that way. Because there's two worlds going on. You got seven parallel universes exactly the same inside of yourself. In, in, in the smallest, smallest substance. I'm talking about inside of atoms, inside of quarks. And you open it up, there's nothing inside there. It's just empty. And they realize it's actually not empty. It's a vibration. And this vibrational thing bounces around randomly and it travels to different dimensions. It travels to parallel universes. Now, when it hits into this one, it causes a riffle. Like if you throw a rock into the water and you see those, those riffles, those waves, it causes that when it comes in and it causes a shell around it. That causes another shell around that. Eventually you have an atom and then you have yourself and you have you. The walls, everything you see is, is vibrating. So we move, we, we travel physically millions and millions and millions and millions of light years away, which is impossible for us to do. We can't even probably fly around the sun, but I mean, far, 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 way, way, way past the sun. I mean, we're like hundreds of millions of light years away. That might be a small number. We travel from the inside. The part of you that's in the very center of everything moves around. Um, now, seven parallel universes is exactly the same, is what I heard. It could be four or two, but I heard it was seven. And then from that moment on, as soon as something changes, a new timeline is created. And then there's seven more following that timeline now. Example, if I got a scar. Well, there's a part of me that didn't get a scar. Everything's always breaking off from each other. Your body's constantly observing things. I think it's five times a second or ten times a second you're breaking off into a, a fork in the road and you're always doing everything you could do, even though you don't realize it. Um, the further it branches away, like rib cage, our rib cages have changed. Where I'm from, the rib cage, we have three floating ribs on the bottom of the rib cage. Um, skull has changed. So for people like us, we are far, 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 far from home. Um, had you woke up and had like six fingers on both hands, you would, you would be freaking out. But because we don't see our rib cage, because we don't see the bones inside of us, it's kind of more subtle. But that's exactly what had happened. You woke up with six fingers in, on both hands. Because we, you know, your rib cage has changed, your kneecaps. But not all of us, but I think most of us. And then you got all the other things like the planets, islands that are, we're on a different earth. There's, there's even different islands here. Australia isn't by itself in the water like I remember it. It's next to the island. So yeah, this is exciting, yet we just don't know what's <laughs> gonna happen next. Now, the people that run the world are Luciferians. They, they, might, they write memoirs and they brag about it. Nothing secret. They just don't think the public cares. The public really doesn't care for the most part because as long as the public feels safe, then it's business as usual. Now these Luciferians are running CERN. That's why the logo 666 on the land of Apollo. Now in the Bible, because I'm a Christian, in the Bible, there's an angel that came down with the key to the same land they're on and he opened up a dimension and let some really, really horrible stuff come through. Really some nasty stuff. Now, my question to you, is CERN going to do that to us? Have they already done it? See, people think when they're, they're opening like a, a, a doorway, but the doorway is right there where CERN's at. That's not how it works. The, door, the doorway's not where CERN is at. When you play with that kind of stuff, the doorway becomes everywhere. All at once. You understand? When, when they play with that, they caused themselves to parallel shift because that thing was, was messing with dimensions. It's unstable. It's going, so they were able, when they played with that, they kind of got pulled in with it. And when they got shifted, what it means is everything got shifted. 
the entire universe. Some people might even still be on the earth that we're from and don't even know. And then there's probably our counterparts are there telling them, hey, man, you know, our ribs are separate. We have three floating ribs and, I th man, we're missing a rib. That's cool. It was a big joke that Adam gave his rib to Eve. So the Luciferians run the world and they brag about it. They put all their logos now on all of our stuff that we buy, all the stuff we see. You have a lot of stories like never before of uh, atrocities like the government taking people's property, their farms, just like walking and walking and walking on We the People. But what you need to do is get your heart right with Jesus Christ. Because when you come to here in my channel, I just talk about what's going on in my life. And you can probably relate if you're a victim of the Mandela Effect. And you need to know that, if you don't know, there is a real God, a real, real God, and a real devil. And that Jesus Christ was God coming to the earth as a man. God knows what it's like. He's God. There. He, came, he came to save us, to show us how to walk. We're supposed to walk like Jesus Christ. That's, what, that's what, exactly what happened. And if you follow the Ten Commandments, you'll be fine. And if you're a Chilean hybrid, you have to turn away from what you're doing and go the other direction. Or on Judgment Day, you will get sevenfold. Whatever you do, whatever you dish out, you will receive sevenfold of it. And then after that's over, you slide on into death, where you start vanishing. It's not a way to go. Logically, just, just to preserve yourself, you should turn away from what you're doing. I, I really don't believe seriously and I can never believe that God is going to abandon you just because you're a reptilian hybrid. If, if you were born in a human body and it wasn't your fault, I, I know God's not going to abandon you. But you can't be using yourself as a tool for the devil. You've been lied to and he's using you to serve his cause, but you've been lied to. So you just turn away, turn around, you know, whatever you're doing, that, that devious stuff and you know what you're doing. You turn around and you go the other direction. And if you do that, you can get favoritism with God and you could avoid punishment for sure if you do that. If you do that. If not, every knee, the Bible says, will bow in front of God. And you're going to be in private. You're not going to have no friends helping you and laughing and backing you up. You're going to be on your knees in front of God all by yourself. And you're going to have to face God and talk to God about what you did. So if you turn around and away from what you're doing, just stop. I'm not saying you're reptilian hybrids. Just stop. You don't have to worry about any kind of punishment. That's, that's, that should be good news to you. Whatever you did, it's, it's over. Celebrate. Now, you're going to live forever? Do I don't see why reptilian hybrids want to be redeemed. I really don't. I really don't see that. You, you pray to God and you try to be a Christian. And if you can't for some reason because you're, you're, you're different, because of the angelic part of you, then just hold tight and don't do any more bad stuff. And then you stop and, and, and God will notice that. And he'll, he'll reach you when he's ready with some good news. I'll tell you that much. I believe that. I prayed about it and that's what I believe. Amen. Thanks for watching and you got your message. You know what to do. And don't blame no one but yourself if you don't turn away from what you're doing.